One day on February 7th, 1997, Harold Smith was enjoying his day until... Sorry, Harold. You know too much. I told you. I promise. I don't know anything. I'm gonna say... Job's done. you came. This is Harold Smith. He, it looks like he was shot by a .97 millimeter pistol. Want to have a look? Where's that evidence? It's right here. Right there. Okay. It's on the bullet talking. room. Right into the chest. Oh, here you are. I'll let you handle this. Okay, just make sure. I can bring you to um, Harold Smith's wife. Alright. Oh yeah, that's a baby. Tamia Smith. Let's see what I can do. We're probably gonna bring this into some kind of science laboratory. See what we can do with mm -hmm. it. Let me bring you to her. Alrighty. Thank you so much for your time today, Channel 53 viewers. Now we have a special guest here today named Detective Johnson. Take it over. Why, thank you, Bethany. Um, the name is wrong. Hey, is your husband Jack? No. Actually, well, my grandpa was Jack, but that's off topic. Anyway, thank you for your time and tuning in today. Um, as you know, I am the detective of this case of the murder of Harold Smith. It is very unfortunate that we have to witness something that horrific. Now, will you please have a moment in silence for this poor, innocent man? know so far on the case is that he was shot with a .63 gun, um, also known as a forty-four Magnum. That's all we really have currently. We found the bullet wounds, we brought him into a laboratory, they did some tests, it was a forty-four Magnum, and that's basically all the information we have on the case right now. We have... What's up? What's up, Mom? Oh, you passed your oh. Oh. Case. Is it Detective Cooper? Yes. Oh. You guys may be wondering why I brought you here today. Probably not. Probably have somewhat, some kind of idea what's going on in this. You think we're suspects in my own dad's murder? No, I think you are involved in your father's murder. <laughs> no, I'm gonna go on. What are you no talking questions? about? So please exit the room. Who would never? No, where were you on that Harold's murder? Upstairs making dinner. Really? What were you making for dinner? Barbecue for our anniversary. It's your anniversary, huh? I'm so sweet. How many years have you been married? Fifteen. Fifteen? Odd number. Usually it's either ten, fifteen, twenty sometimes. Maybe even twenty-five or fifteen. I guess it's in the zone. Any pets? Any, you know, fish? Dogs, cats, anything. A cat and a fish. A cat and a fish. What's your fish name exactly? Crows. Yes. What about the cat? A cat with dodo. Dodo. Really? You name a cat dodo? Well, this first sounds a little bit like doodle, well, but okay, keep going. Anyway. <sighs> I got some more questions. <clears throat> When you were making Harold's dinner, did it ever occur to you that he was gone for an excruciatingly long time? Oh, I was just outside barbecuing for a long time, so I thought he was inside. Did room. you give Harold the heads up to just walk out into an alley and get some coins for a vending machine? No, he was going to get. He was going to the mall. To the mall, really? So he ended up in an alley when he went to the mall. Pretty odd. Hmm. He must have got off track. It's a pretty weird backup story, huh? Get out of my room. Next! We want. I want you to sit down in that chair. What do you think I'm doing? Happy natural. Posture, please. Yes. Now, a few civil questions. What if I don't want to answer? Hmm? Then we don't need answers from you directly. We don't need answers from the source. We can clearly go to your apartment, you know, get a warrant before that. Get all the answers. Fine, ask away. 
Great, you just open the whole file in your mouth, and you yell at me, and I ask you the question. Who are you? I'm Randy Harold Smith Murder. Beyonce yeah, Styles. How long have you been engaged? A year or so. You don't know how long exactly you've been engaged? A year's coming up in about a month or so. It's pretty early wedding, right? Been engaged for like 11 months. Well, our wedding's not going to be for another six months, so. Let's just say it all there, though. Where are you getting married? Uh, Burden's house. It's a place downtown. All right. Never heard of it, but I'll go along with your little scheme. Anyway, what's your fiance's name? Patricia. Patricia Osweiler. Soon to be Oliver. So you already agreed upon that? Yes, we have. <coughs> all right. How close were you to your father? I saw him once a month. I I was living once on my own. Once a month? Whoa, whoa, slow down. How were you so close? Were you? No. We had a big fight one day. About what? It's none of your business. Actually, it is my business. I'm here to interview you. You're in, co you're in full custody, so I can do whatever I want with you. His will. His will. Really? Yeah. So, what was it about? You wanted his will. You wanted your... He gave you a good share of it. He, uh, he was rich. I got about 10000 10, I wish I could get 100 Really? Really? It's not so much for a rich dude, is it? Because How many brothers and sisters do you have? Seven. Seven? How many sisters? Three of them died, though. From what? Two of them from a miscarriage, one of them food poisoning. Unfortunately, where did you live? Uh, when, of course, when they passed away, where were they? My mom's house. They, my parents got divorced. But they're getting, they're okay. trying to get okay. back. Okay, okay, okay. Now that's almost all I have to ask you. You've done a pretty good job so far for an hour. For what? No, nothing. You said? Nothing. A man right. killed his father. What? You can't do that to me, boy. Sit down! I may not have clear evidence, but I can see it. We're done here. Yeah. You come back here right now and pick up. Hey! You're under arrest for the murder of Harold Smith. Hand me. What is that? Stay right where you are. Back up to the back of the room now. Do you have anyone else in this room? You're selling weed, huh? Got your charge for two things. Doesn't matter. You charge it for life anyway. Hands behind your head. Turn around on your knees now. You're under arrest for criminal charges in the murder of Harold. No, wait, Harold Smith. wait. You don't have any proof. What about all the evidence I need? Wait. And deep down, I saw you it know all happen. I was too scared to admit it before. That's why I didn't act up. My son t told me not to tell anyone. He did it. Do you have evidence? Yes. Come with me. Hands behind your back. You're still, you're still going to jail for drug dealing. Let's go. Down on the chair. Let's go. I don't want to talk about this. Show me the evidence now. Take it. Is this your phone? Yes. I recorded it all just in case something like this happened. Oh gosh. Well, you have clear evidence. As long as nothing happens to this, we are safe. Thank you for your time. Um, it's been a pleasure. I'm sorry for that. But you will still be going to jail for criminal charges. Not Hello. criminal charges, just weed. Well, we'll see. Maybe you can get a good attorney in court. Stand up, please. You're under arrest. Let's go. You told her, Mom. Come on. Why would you do that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put down the gun. I don't know what you're talking about. Put, put down your gun. Now I shoot.
Um, oh, make sure you get a good, fantastic lawyer in court. Um, you're looking up to one to a year and a half in jail, yeah, minimum, tops. All right, so let's go on. This is the end of the story of Harold Smith on February 7th, 1997.